Just like riding a bike, kids. Hey guys, my name is x -Factor. I hope you're having a great day. And for those of you who own Premium, this map, Lubkov Pass, is available on all platforms and all regions right now. That's where this gameplay footage came from. Right after the Gamescom EA Battlefield 1 competitive announcement, we jumped on and got a few rounds in. For those of you who did not know, Battlefield 1 has been touting an upcoming competitive mode. And we actually got to see a little bit and hear more details, not just during the live stream, but a decent AMA put on by several of the devs that are in Cologne right now. And before you jump to any conclusions, it is 5v5 with vehicles. The game seems drastically different than what you play right now in Battlefield 1. And the good news is this, the developers are listening to feedback and they've stated the system is entirely modular, built to be changed based on finding the fun and what works and doesn't work. So let's start off with what incursions actually are for drunks. Incursions have a set system where you earn tickets through getting kills and denying revives, holding a flag majority, which means two of the three, just like the old school Battlefield competitive days, or getting bonus, destroying the enemy's vehicle, for instance, getting a full squad wipe. Whoever reaches 15 tickets in a set gets a point. The other team loses any tickets acquired. First team that reaches 11 points wins the game. You play 10 sets per half on a map. Drunks goes on to state that DICE is looking at core gameplay and mechanic changes across the board, which means it includes Battlefield 1 as a whole. Battlefield 1 incursions will accelerate the process when it comes to what really matters for competitive experience. The matchmaking does not include a rating system ladder during closed alpha. The closed alpha will be open to anyone that signs up on PC, pending that you get accepted, of course. Drunk then goes on to talk about the actual kits that are going to be available in the alpha, which will be eight. And we're carefully thinking about what's the right balance between weapons and gadgets. The goal is really to create unique kits that serve a purpose in a team composition. Some kits are very much supportive, some are anti-vehicle, anti-infantry, and we're making sure weapons are fitting that role. DICE also has a progression system that is meant to balance out kits, including not involving the automatical in any of the existing kits at this point. And speaking of kits, let's talk about how you select them. There's actually a drafting phase that locks you into your kit, and that's only a small part of the customization. Another reference to the progress system, Three ranks, you start level one, you gain XP through time and performance during the match. Ranks unlock new abilities and upgrades in your kit. Another controversial thing in Battlefield 1 seems to be addressed as well, and that's spawning. Now, in previous Battlefield titles, if you were trying to save your flag with spawn in, it could be in a circular pattern. In Battlefield 1, they change it to be one side of the flag in multiple different spots, and a lot easier to be camped out if you were spawning in. Now, Drunks goes on to say, in the closed alpha, the spawning experience will be familiar to the players. Squad spawning exists, but is much more limited to have a more predictable experience. Spawning on flags works a bit differently as well. So maybe going back to the old system, which seemed to work very well in the competitive state, or maybe they're trying something else. The initial reaction for the Battlefield community was, why not more players? And again, this is modular, it can be changed, but Tigger, Drunks, and many other people from DICE have said that it plays really well in all their play tests, including a post from Tigger. So he was giving a little bit of flack, saying 5v5 is nothing impressive. I can now jump in BF4 and play matches like this, much more intense than BF1. BF1 needs major changes gameplay-wise, not new modes. Tigger responds, I beg to differ. The end game progression and focus gameplay enforced by not only the kits, remember there's eight of them, but also the limited vehicle roles makes the incursions gameplay unique and super intense. Try it in the alpha, and if you don't like it, give us good constructive feedback. The closed alpha map is a small subset of giant shadow built for tempo, tension, and action, but also lulls in action. We want the all-out squad on squad action in several attacks during a set to happen. So it kind of sounds like they're going for a tempo and pace sort of thing, which 5v5 can provide, especially with the limited amount of tickets and how the new point scoring system will actually work. And think about other competitive games when it comes to the power struggle. Games such as CSGO, one team has armor, they might have an op, they have ARs, the other team 
is on maybe an SMG and a semi-safe. The in-game progression system, according to Tigger, and the limited kit rolls do allow for them to create power spikes during early, mid, and late game. You're more than likely going to see a lot more tactical gameplay in Battlefield 1 competitive than you've seen in any other Battlefield game to date. Again, because of the way the kits are set up, and then, of course, the ticket system. You don't have hundreds of tickets to make a comeback or to set up your lanes. You have a set number of pushes and defenses that you have to hold before that set is over. So you have to be extremely careful with the resources that you do have and not get baited into a trap. Wipe giving them a progression advantage, not just a map position advantage. So let's talk about what kind of time sync you can expect. Well, according to Drunks, it's all a variable. Of course, it's the first to 11 sets, as referenced before. After 10 sets, you switch which side of the map you're on. Each set can roughly take two minutes on average, but it doesn't seem like there is a timer on this because that can be a variable. It's all about those tickets. If somebody wants to turtle up, they might be able to do that. And because there's only 15 tickets, you really have to be careful how you burn through those. More than likely, if you're into the Battlefield franchise or veteran of the series, you're probably asking, hey, how's suppression going to work with competitive gameplay? Well, the boys over at Dice LA have mentioned suppression being tweaked and worked on in the past in the community test environment with nothing really in place. So I jumped on and said, hey, any chance suppression gets reworked or simply removed for competitive? Take a response. We are looking at all core improvements across the franchise to be improved. This experience is only going to accelerate that. Random things are not very good for competitive games. Neither is flinch, random bullet deviation, optic sway and of course added recoil now the question is does it go closer to something that was acceptable at the end of battlefield 4 that dice la saw to themselves and fixed to the happiness of much of the community or will they completely rework it destroy it and do something different much like PUBG uses aim punch if you're being shot around your head nothing happens the second you get slapped with the bullet depending on what weapon your aim is going to jump Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, but it will throw off your shot. But it is rewarding those who are actually hitting you. Suppression is rewarding those who miss you and can mess up your aim for quite a few seconds. So this was a lot of information to cover. This is just the start. I'm actually going to link the Reddit thread that I referenced all of this and these conversations went on. There is a new incursions Reddit set up for all kinds of information when it comes to the battlefield one competitive experience which is going to be ramping up extremely quickly starting with pc there will be a matchmaking type system coming into place eventually but dice has stated that they want to find the fun within the mode first and then build the surrounding systems i'm actually extremely excited am i in love this is 5v5 no not really i'd much prefer 8v8 if there is a vehicle involved just like the old school battlefield days but if this is built right with tempo pace speed and of course the adrenaline factored in this might work out all right then of course i need to play it because anything can look horrible on paper it could be the most fun i've had in years or it could look great on paper and just be an absolute drag the one thing i do know is this the right people involved drunks one of the best competitive players from battlefield days of old and of course tigger and the dice team at la and sweden have proven to work things out in previous Battlefield titles. Hopefully, this is providing them the canvas to shine yet again. What do you guys think about all this? I'm actually going to link several of the Reddit threads, including the Incursions Reddit, which is brand new, created a couple days ago, that you guys can have some conversations. Maybe the Dice Devs will come back in there. You can see what I was referring to when doing this video today and any feedback that you may have. DICE is going to have their ear to the ground on this one because they want this to be successful because I believe it's a testing ground for the 2018 title coming. They don't want to launch a 2018 title trying to figure out matchmaking all the supporting systems and find the fun in the actual game mode. They want all that polished and ready to go for the next title, which more than likely will have a full competitive backing from EA, DICE, and any other partner that they bring on board as well, which means there might be some pretty big money out there. Now, DICE also isn't ruling out that right now, 
more than likely they could have something up their sleeve, but we're a long ways away from getting a polished competitive mode. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to leave your feedback, what you think, and enjoy the rest of the Frommer stomping. We'll see you guys soon. Keep this objective ours! Hey! 50 bombs.